Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to talk about Lucid Model. So there's some updates that are coming and I want us to cover that. Uh, for those of you that are long-term holders of the stock, this is very important. And if you are looking to get into the stock, definitely this is information that would help you um, know when to get into the stocks. So that's what I want us to talk in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, guys, Lucid Model is one of the plays that we have been talking about here on the channel um mainly from the perspective of ev vehicles and um you guys know that i'm i'm long this stock um i'm not looking at two three years i'm looking five to ten years um the same respect that we give tesla when they first came out that's what i'm giving them um they are coming out as the luxury brand for ev vehicles so take tesla and then the luxury of tesla would be what uh lucid is trying to do so it's very important that for those of you that are getting into this stock, you can either play it in one or two ways. If you're playing this stock to go long term, then I would say uh, there's an opportunity for you to get in, but you have to be patient a little bit. Um, again, if you're just looking to swing trade the stock, again, it would be for you to be patient and find the right dips to get into the stock. So what is going on here? There are July 23rd is the day that the merger is going to be completed. Finally happy that this is happening. So if you are if you are somebody that's holding this stock long term, you don't really to, need to worry about this because unless you want to buy more, because usually when a merger goes through like this, we are going to see a dip. And that's why I wanted to make sure that I do this video, because if you want to get into the stock, don't jump into the stock right now. I, honestly, just wait. Um, usually there is a post uh, merger dip that's going to happen. That would be the ideal time for you to get into the stock. So again, I'm long lucid moto. I'm holding um, over 3000 shares. And uh, I, if I see the post merger dip and if it gets down back to like the 20s and um, under 20, I'm loading up some more again because, uh, again, like I said, this one I'm holding long term. I'm not planning to sell um, anytime soon. So, again, uh, mark that date on your calendar, July 23rd. So, uh, I think the vote is going to happen on July 22nd at 10 a.m. And then that, after that, July 23rd is when uh, the, the merger is going to be closed. And then when you wake up that morning, July 23rd, the ticket symbol would change from CCIV to LCID. That would be Lucid. So that would be the, the, the ticket symbol that you're going to see. So uh, as I'm doing this video right now, uh, Churchy Capital is actually trading about $26 a share. And you've seen some movement here. So if we just go the last five days, you've seen this thing has gone up to 27 Let's do month. See, it's actually, I, it tested almost $29 and then pulled back. And it's just sitting right now over that $25 price point. But if we continue to hold over that 25, I'm anticipating that once the merger complete, people are going to sell. You're going to see a drop. So this thing is probably going to pull down to under 25, which is going to make it even more uh, enticing for, for a long-term hold. So that is my game plan here. And that's what I want you guys, if you don't have this stock yet, I'll say be patient, give it some, some room to, to actually pull back before you can jump in. Again, there is this whole thing that usually happens after a merger. Post mergers are always not very good. You see a little spike and then it would pull back because institutions are starting to see that maybe this is a good play. Then they're going to pull down that price. They're going to pull it down to buy as cheap as possible and then uh, ride the wave back up to where it belongs. So to me, uh, I, this company right now, they haven't started doing deliveries, but they're currently working on uh, so manufacturing right now, as you can see here, the Lucid Air is currently in, manuf in, in, in manufacturing right now in um, the Arizona facility. The Dream Edition is even more of a super luxury car, as you can see here, uh, 1080 HP and then 503 miles. That, that's the mileage range. That's insane. Um, so, I mean, I, 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 love, I love what these guys are doing and the lineup of cars that they have uh, is just incredible. I think... Um, they also have a sedan that 
uh, gravity, which is in the making. Let's see if we can find that. So I don't think they have a picture of that on here, but the gravity is just a down that they are working on. So I'm super excited about, again, the company. And guys, this is not a quick turnaround just so you know. So don't go take your life savings and put it here and think that it's just going to flip it tomorrow and make um, you know millions of dollars. This is going to be a long-term play. Uh, in five or 10 years, that's where you're going to see this thing uh, establish itself. And at least, again, and that's my personal opinion. So um, don't go jump in and then blame me if it doesn't turn out the way I'm seeing it. This is my personal opinion. So uh, definitely, uh, do your own research before you take your life savings and dump it in there. Um, some key things that are really giving me uh, confidence here is the fact that they are actually accelerating their manufacturing. So uh, to get to that next phase, to start doing the deliveries and start uh, building the, the Lucid Gravity, which is their sedan. So um, I, I like the fact that they are putting their foot on the gas uh, and wanting to move fast and start doing some deliveries. And again, last time I did a video here, I mentioned that they actually have over 10,000 reservations for their vehicles. You know how this usually works, right? It's a luxury brand. So you see celebrities and all these big name people are going to start driving it uh, to maintain that luxury. Um, and then uh, you see that's how the car is going to establish its name. So in, that's my personal uh, opinion again, because I think Tesla is going to be like your average um, EV car that anybody can buy and then lucid is going to be the luxury so you see people are buying uh, a toyota then people that have money would buy uh something like a lexus so or a mercedes or a bmw so that's exactly the equivalence here i know that other companies like uh bmw and mercedes are coming up with volvo coming up with their own version of, of electric car but there's something to be said about uh, somebody that is just doing it specifically. That's all they are good at. Because if all these other uh, uh, car manufacturers were up to par, they would have done this a long time ago. They never would have sat there and wait for Tesla to come and set uh, you know, the pace here, and then they start catching up. They had everything lined up already. They had the manufacturing facilities. They had the distribution network. They had everything lined up for them. But they dropped the ball. That's why Tesla came in and and just took up that space and own it. And now you have other luxury brands that are coming in to own to be part of that space. So that's my personal take. So um, that's it for the video, guys. Again, let me know uh, what you think. Just a quick recap here. Mark your calendar, July twenty third. That's when the merger between CCIV and Lucid Moto is going to be completed. The vote is actually on July twenty second at ten a.m. After that vote. Then the very next day, the ticket symbol is going to change from CCIV to um, LCID. That would be the new ticket symbol, and we'll start trading. And what I anticipate is that you're going to see a little spike, and then there'll be a massive pullback. And that's where, if you want to buy long-term, there would be an opportunity for you to buy long-term after that pullback, and then ride this thing all the way. Um, again, I encourage you, if you don't have it in your long-term portfolio, I would say consider, do some research, see if you can pull some. Again, buy that tape under 25. Uh, again, I'm I'm thinking this thing is going to pull down to like 20 again, even not if below 20, because um, the institutions are going to want to buy, and they're not going to want to pay premium for it. They want to buy it as cheap as possible. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys uh, think. Guys, Um, again, I've, I've been kind of like sloppy here, not posting every day. Uh, summer has been crazy. It's been fun. Um, just hanging out with my kids and, uh, you know, doing some camping and um, just going to the lake and doing stuff. So uh, it's not like I'm, I'm there, guys. I, I'm just like, you know, trying to spend this few summer months with my family, with my kids, because um, in Minnesota, uh, we get like three months of uh, nice sunshine and good weather to go on the lakes and do some fun stuff. So I want to take advantage of that. But I'm, I'm still going to continue uh, uh, creating content for you guys um, as time allows. So again, let me know in the comment section um, what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be greedy savage and stay motivated.